and she won. Now the West is really ahead. Let's give her a big hand. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, they brought their music, their physical skills, and their determination to achieve victory. They've come to meet here, at the campus of the University of California, Irvine, to live in these tents. And compete at this stadium. And to perform before this crowd. And for you, their fans at home, in a very unique show, the Rock and Roll Sports Classic. Can Michael Jackson move it on the field and in the water the same way he moves it on the stage? And how about Rod Stewart? Song, cause we listen to the radio I'd advise you to uh, view at home, that is. And can Marilyn McCoo of the East outmaneuver the likes of Lita Ford of the West? Will Steele's help cross sink the East? And their captain, Phyllis Diller. Listen, I've been shelled so many times, nobody's gonna sink this old battleship. <laughs> Especially that cute little nasty Sandy Duncan. <laughs> so cute. Hey, Commodores, I want you to really do it for the West. I want you to get out there and beat those guys, okay? I want you to be sharp like you're on stage, all right? All right. Really flash out, rock and roll! And with the combative spirit of earth, wind, and fire. Kenny Logan. And the runaways. They'll prove that class wins out. Why do we need class when we have a setup like this? Not too shabby. And what do you see what we got waiting in the wings? How's this for your basic locker room? I think I'll start training right now. We've also got the multiple talented Freddie Fender. And the gift of Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis. And the tent is shaking with some swift moves from Tanya Tucker and a little rhythm from Helen Schneider. Not to mention... Not to mention the dynamic action of Lace Garrett. We got a little firecracker of our own to help tell the big stories. I'll be bringing you all the hot items and the inside scoops on this monumental rock and roll sports classics. We have a huge crowd for this enormous event. And the main man... And the main man on the field to keep the ball rolling is Alex Karras. 
Thank you very much, Christy. I'm glad that you said that. It's wonderful that you would do that. To acknowledge me like that's wonderful. Actually, our job is to find out who's the best, the East or the West, and that's why we're here. We're here today. Wait a minute. The Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. Why are you girls here today? This isn't Super Bowl 12. Wait a minute. Is it? No, it isn't, but Alex... It's the Super Bowl of Rock and Roll! Rock and Roll Sports Classic. With your host, Alex Carroll. Roving co-host, Ed McMahon. Team captains, Phyllis Diller and Sandy Duncan. Assistant team captains, Barbie Benton and Susan Anton. Reporters, Christy McNichol, Michelle Phillips. Joe Smith and Fred Cavallini. And the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Our contestant, the Alessi brothers. Boston, the Commodore, Seals and Croft, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis, the Electric Light Orchestra, Freddie Fender, Earth, Wind and Fire, Leif Garrett, the Jackson, Gladys Knight and the Pip, Kenny Loggins, Anne Murray, the Runaway. Helen Schneider. John Anna. Rod Stewart. And Tanya Tucker. From the campus of the University of California at Irvine. I think you'll find this event a little different than most events you've seen on television. First of all, the contestants are not going to be competing for money. Instead, they're going to be competing for these wonderful trophies designed by Cartier. These uh, athletes have come all over from all over the world to compete, and they're here just to really have some fun. There's no money involved. There will be a $20,000 scholarship fund for the University of California of Irvine, and... Uh, And now I'd like to introduce the captains of the respective teams. The East captain, uh, the, I think the funniest woman in the world, Phyllis Diller. Phyllis? Phyllis, have you, have you really, I know that you're really up for this one. Have you gotten the team up? Yes, they're very up. And listen, I just want you to know that I could have been a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, except my pom-poms weren't big enough. <laughs> Okay, and now for the West team, the one and only, the very versatile actress, Sandy Duncan. Sandy? Listen, I can't fool around here talking too much. I've got my team in there warming up in the tent. I've got the Commodores, the Runaways, Last Night, the Pips, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Kenny Loggins, Tanya Tucker, Freddie Fender. We've got a wonderful, hot team. I see that you're very down for this one. I'm very down for this show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, go. good, good luck, girls. Well, I didn't tell you who's on my team. Helen Schneider, Ann Murray, Shanana, ELO, and the Jacksons. And I'm up, too. Okay. All right. Well, get going, ladies. Good luck to you. And now for the co-host, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, the guy that really taught me how to really throw my voice and become very professional, Ed McMahon. Ed? Yes. Listen. It's exciting, is it? It's really exhausted already. We haven't started. Ed, all you're going to do is stand around. I'm the guy that has to run in different places, and i got to leave right now, so good luck to you. You're swimming, right? I feel older than uh, whoever. <laughs> Bye, Ed. Have a nice day. May the better contender emerge victorious. Okay, we're here. We're going to start with the men's 100-yard dash. We'll be scoring according to NCAA rules. Ten points for first. Eight for second, six, four, two, down to one. Okay? A lot of competition today, 20 events. Everybody's excited. Everybody's ready. Now, uh, Christy McNichol is going to start our race for us. She normally is a competitor herself. I think it's the first time she's ever been a sports broadcaster. So here is very cute, very pretty Christy McNichol. Charlie Green uh, held a record of 9.21 seconds. But with the weather today, it doesn't look like that we'll get any kind of a record, but we're gonna try. Let's go to the lanes. In lane number one, we have Michael Jackson. Woo! 
In lane number two, we have William King from the Commodores. In lane number three, we have Hugh McDowell. In lane number four, we have Dash Crofts from Seals and Crofts. Lane number five, we have Jackie Jackson. Lane number six, we have Edward Patton. And lane number seven, we have Billy Davis. And in lane number eight, we have Lake Garrett. Take it away, A. Okay, let's start the race. The runners are at their mark. Okay, Christy. They're lining up now for the very first event. Looks like they're ready. The 100-yard men's, the gun is up. And they're off. Michael Jackson off to a good start, and William King. Oh, here comes Jackie Jackson up strong. Hugh McDowell, Jackie Jackson, and William King. It's Jackie Jackson, William King, and it's Jackie Jackson is the winner. So, Jackie Jackson takes the first event of the Rock and Roll Sports Classic, winning the 100-yard dash for the East. I'll tell you, we're, uh, the East is uh, rolling good now. Uh, we're going to have a trophy for you. Here she, oh, here she is already, Phyllis, your captain. I'm so glad to give it to the Blue Blazer. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. He is a Blue Blazer, isn't he? Well, you are moving good. Now, I want to get an update on the score because I saw a lot of yellow shirts behind you. Not enough yellow shirts, Ed. The East picks up 10 points for first place, a 6 and a 1 for a total of 17. So this is the East 17, the West 14. Okay, take it away, Christy, for the 100 yards women. are getting ready. They're on the starting line for the 100. They're set. And they're off. That's Joan Jett of the Runaways taking an early lead for the West and Yellow. Tanya Tucker on the outside. And Murray in there strong. Here comes Sandy West of the Runaways. And Murray and Joan Jett. It looks like Sandy West. Has it. And Murray second and Joan Jett third. is rolling. Okay, Wes, come on here, Bobby. Now, you've been scouting the West. Yeah. How does the team look to you? Well, I'll tell you. I've been checking out our team, and they look like they're in dynamite shape. I think we've got a really good chance with groups like Earth, Wind, and Fire, the Commodores, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Leaf Garrett, Seals and Crofts, the Runaways, Kenny Loggins, <laughs> Tanya Tucker, Freddie Fender, and of course, Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart is right. Listen, when you get some of your enthusiasm, they'll be all right. Look, we're going to swimming right now, so I'll see you at the swimming event. Oh. Okay. All right, Alex, take it away. Well, 
right, we're here for the men's 50-yard freestyle swim, which means they'll go up and back one time. And personally, I think you have to be in fairly uh, good shape to win this one. And certainly accelerating off the, uh, the starting block is really going to be essential to win. And I can't qualify for both, but I have a friend of mine who's fairly decent shape herself. And Susan Anton, uh, what do you think uh, about the chances of anyone in this race winning? Well, Alex, I think that the East Coast is definitely the team. We've got Sean Anna, the Jacksons, ELO Boston, Marilyn McCoo, Billy Davis Jr., and Ann Murray. The East Coast is a winner all the way. Now for our lane assignments. Actually, I did about uh, 80 laps for two weeks. Good heavens. Well, no wonder you're in great shape. Look at this body. Is this a body? Yeah. All right. And to congratulate your team captain, Sandy Duncan. Thank you. Hey. All right. Well, that's one for the West, but the East will come back on strong, so we'll catch you all later. Back to you, Alex. Well, Coach Diller, your team didn't win. Well, there's a lot of reasons. There aren't as many as pools in the East, and we trained on grass, and I found out it's a lot different in the water. That's not bad. <laughs> we just got word from Joe Smith in the tent, and let's go cut to him right now. We're finding Helen Schneider and Tanya Tucker getting ready for the big endurance race. All set? All set. Okay, girls, go get them. Okay. Now, the West is taking this competition very serious. There's Tanya Tucker warming up for her next race, the Team Endurance Relay. Good one. Whoops. And Rod Stewart is getting ready for the half the University High School Band. They'll help a lot. The whole stadium is coming alive. Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have got them fired up. And we've got our reporters, Christy McNichol and Michelle Phillips, getting the inside stories. Susan Anton and Barbie Bentner scouting the team. Right now, the score is East 35 and West 58. Next contestants in lane one for the East, East Chico, Chico. Shanana. Denny Green, Denny Green Shanana. Shanana.
course. Now we're ready for the event. Remember, this is Team Endurance Relay, and there are six members on each team. Starting out for the East, we have Chico from Sean on on for the West, Al McKay, Earth, Wind, and Fire. And it's Chico from Sean on on. here this morning and I I said oh I can't do this I couldn't even get over a hurdle much less run a whole race but <laughs> go back and tune up the voice Ellen. I'm going to thanks, thanks for being a with lot. us good luck Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Commodore's Thomas McClary. Yes, sir. You see, Mom, I told you to do it. It was a great race. You really can jump and run, baby. All right, baby. You won it. Lake Garrett. We got hey, it. We did it. Yeah. Hey. Sensational run. You guys oh. look great out there. Get Thanks back in the tent and rest, okay? Now let's meet the contenders in the men's 60-yard dash. Screen and Scott Simon. Sean Anna. Hey. Yeah, Ronald LaCrea Commodore's. Bobby Alessi, the Alessi brothers. Andrew Wolfe, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Jocko from Shanana, and I want these guys from the West to give us a break. We're going to meet them outside after this meet. William Guest, Gladys Knight, and Phipps. Jackie Jackson, Jackson. Philip Bailey, Earth, Wind, and Fire. All right, the men are lining up, getting ready. Sheehan from Boston. Yeah! And my man here is one heck of an athlete from last night in the pits, Mr. Bubba Knight. Yeah! Over here we have Billy Alessi who's going to burn him up in lane five for the East. Go Billy! Hey, I have William King from the Commodores, right, William? Yeah! Sam Dini from Shana! Priest from the East! Ronald LaPrent from the Commodores! Go, man! Marlon Jackson from the Jacksons. Marlon, you, you got to win this one. I don't care about you guys making money, but I need it. Alex, what? before we go on with the race, we have to go in the tent and talk to Joe Smith. Okay, we're going to intrude on Tanya Tucker, the lovely little country western singer here. Tanya, you got a busy day today, don't you? Yeah, real busy. What do you think you're going to do best of all the events today? I don't know. Um, we, the relays, probably, because we have teamwork on that, you know. Uh, maybe uh, the swimming. They're real good in that. Maybe the bike race. Have you ever done much <laughs> bike riding before? Yeah, I've done quite a bit. Well, don't fall off. <laughs> I'm going to try not to. Thanks a lot. Now back to the field. Okay. This is the men's 220-yard run with a staggered start, and it's important to keep in mind that the reason for a staggered start... The girls are getting ready for the upcoming bicycle event, and Rod Stewart is warming up on the soccer field for his battle with Rich Tandy of ELO. Right now it's the West 106, East 64. There's still a long way to go in this contest. There's some good cheers. This is the women's bicycle race, which means they'll go a little more than 440 yards. Alex! Well. Yes. <laughs> The West right now has 106 points, and the East has um, 64. This event here is worth 31 points, so I think if the East comes anywhere near that number, they'll fill in the gap pretty good. It's really great, Christine. I'm glad that you said that to everyone out there. Uh, but Newt Rockney wouldn't really care. You know, remember Newt, don't you? You don't remember Newt. Okay, uh, our... The contestants, in, in lane number one is Anne Murray, and Anne, uh, you're Canadian, and my mom was from Pugwash, Canada. Pugwash, that's eight miles from where I come from. Yeah? yeah. Is it fun up there? It's not far from Tatamagush or Stuyak or Shubanakity or any of those. Sounds exotic. Uh, in lane number two, Tanya Tucker. In lane, lane number two, the Jackson, the Jackson. Jackson. And lane number four from the west, Joan Jett from the runaway. And for the east, in lane number five, Helen Schneider. Lane number six for the west, Vicki Blue with the runaway. It's a good start on a wet track. 
It rained earlier today, but I don't think it will affect the competitors. Well, it looks like an all-west one, two, three so far with Tanya Tucker, Joan Jett, and Vicki Blue taking the early lead. Stretching it out a little bit now is Tanya Tucker and Joan Jett. Now Joan Jett is starting to close in a little bit on Tanya Tucker. Coming into the final stretch, it's still Tanya Tucker in front, followed by Joan Jett. Joan Jett is now making her bid to the inside. It's Tanya Tucker and Joan Jett. Now it's Jett and Tucker. Joan Jett is finally taking the lead. It's Joan Jett, Tanya Tucker, and Vicki Blue. It looks like an all-west win. It is, it's Joan Jett first, Tanya Tucker, and Vicki Blue. And the winner, Joan Jett. <laughs> race she said she was gonna win and she won now the west is really ahead let's give her a big hand congratulations yeah. hey, okay here's that in men's 440 here are the lane assignments for the 440 ronald lapred in lane eight yeah. and randy jackson in lane seven there's william king in six jackie jackson in five bubba knight in four billy alessi in three Ralph Johnson in lane two, and Marlon Jackson in lane one. They're lining up. It's a staggered start for the 440. minute but right now let's go to joe smith okay from the runaways we have uh, joan jett and vicky blue how you doing fine are these are you? stretching what are you in 60 yard dash, 60 yard dash. Are, you, are you great speedsters or are you long distance runners uh, we can hold our own i yeah. guess in good shape pretty well we're yeah. looking for you to come through your team needs some points now. the yellow team uh, we're doing good doing we're winning nice everything yeah. have you participated in piling up the points yeah well go get them in this one thanks okay for thanks bye. a lot bye Crowds eager to see the next event, the women's 60-yard dash. The West is leading right now, 138 to 94. There's a long way to go. Running the 60-yard dash. In lane one is Janet Jackson from the Jackson. In lane two is Joan Jett from the Runaways. Marilyn McCoo is in lane three. Do you get what you're hoping for? When you look behind you, there's no open door. In lane four is Sandy West from the Runaways. Anne Murray is in lane five. Spread your tiny wings and fly away. And take the snow back with you where it came from on that day. Lane six has Gladys Knight. My imagination to think of good reasons to keep on, keep it on, keep on, keep it on. Latoya Jackson is in lane seven. And in the toughest lane is Vicky Blue from the Runaways. It's a time to compete and a time to renew friendships. Well, I have been renewing some old acquaintances. I haven't seen Kenny Loggins for a while, and he he uh, gave me a couple of songs that became hits for me. And I've worked with Tanya Tucker. I've worked with Freddie Fender. But the rest of the folks are new for me, and uh, it's been great fun uh, meeting these people. I just do my work and go home to Canada usually. And this has given me a great opportunity to meet some new people and uh, some of my favorites. I, I really came because I thought it would be a lot of fun, even though I knew I wasn't exactly in shape. I'm not what you call athletic, but hey, I said this is going to be such great fun. Gladys and I 
that will be occupying lane six for the West is all the women line up for the 60-yard dash. Now, to the right of your screen in yellow jerseys are Joan Jett and Sandy West. Sandy West in lane four and Joan Jett in lane two. They are heavy favorites in this competition because they took first and second in the women's 100-yard dash. And as we predicted, Joan Jett is off to a strong lead in this race with Sandy West coming in very strong. And Sandy West is going to take the women's 60-yard dash with Joan Jett taking second. place. So it's a 1-2 finish for Sandy West and Joan Jett giving their team the West 156 points and the East 107 points. But remember there are 11 more events to go in this Rock and Roll Sports Classic. It is official now. I get that call. Sandy West is our winner. And we're going to send it right now to uh, Alex Karras and a couple of our reporters. Take it, Alex. Michelle Phillips is with me. Fred Travellina. They're going to do the play-by-play -play -play and let's go and get them. Let's Sounds go get good to me. Okay, for the East team, in the first half, Denny Green of the Shanana, Rich Tandy of ELO, the wonderful Marlon Jackson of the Jacksons. And now, playing in the second half, Fran Sheehan of Boston. Jackie Jackson of the Jacksons. Santini of Shanana. And Johnny Catardo of Shanana. Let's go get them, boys. And now for the West team. In the first half, Mylon Williams of the Commodores. Come on out here, Mylon. Incidentally, they'll be playing on a half court because both teams are a little out of shape. Kenny Loggins. Larry Dunn of Earth, Wind and Fire. Playing in the second half, William King of the Commodores, Andrew Wolfolk of Earth, Wind and Fire, of a night of Gladys Knight in the Pits, and Thomas McClary of the Commodores. <laughs> Okay, the East team has it. There's Jackson. Over to Denny Green. Denny Green in the corner. Takes a jump shot. Scores! All right. The East, two. The West, zero. And incidentally, some of the events that were presented out of the actual sequence in which they were recorded. Okay, Loggins with the ball for the West. Comes down deep to the corner. Back to Kenny Loggins. Denny Green in the middle. Back outside of Jackson. Jackson shoots. Loggins with the ball for the West. There's the drive in. Done. No, it's so good. It's still poppery. They're really messing the ball around, folks. And speaking of messing things up, here's Michelle Phillips and Fred Cavalina with some of Fred's impressions. Come in, Michelle. Richard Nixon, I just can't believe you'd come here. Well, Rich Candy brought it out. Over to uh, Marlon Jackson for the East. Over to Denny Green. Denny Green takes the shot. This is the shot like I used to do. Marlon Williams is over and gets the shot in. Denny Green taking out the East again. Denny over to Jackson. What's the score? It's the West for the East, too, incidentally, Tricky. And before we go any further, you know, the winners will get 10 points, the losers three in this basketball contest. Loggins again with the shot. No good. Rebound. No good. Bill Cosby, would you give us a blow-by-blow? -blow? <laughs> Listen to that crowd, man. Passes it over to Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins. Over to Milan Williams. Almost. Oh, almost lost the ball. Takes the shot, misses it, gets to the gun, himself, takes it, another off, misses it. Munchkin. Yes. Okay, here we go. Now watch this. Kenny Loggins up, and the foul. Kenny was fouled by Kenny Green. Loggins sinks one in. <laughs> So it's the West 5, the East 2 after the first half. And speaking of kicking the ball around, there's Rod Stewart. He'll be with us along with our second half of the Rock and Roll Sports Classic. Coming up, so don't go away. And for the East, we have Ann Murray. <laughs> Lane number 2 for the...
the West, Ralph Johnson, Earth, Wind, and Fire. because um, I trained a little bit for it. And uh, I like sports a lot. I think sports and music go hand in hand because um, sports usually are either a team, usually a team team effort. And music is a team effort as well. No one individual can sound really well unless he's got people who want to and can accompany that person and make him sound better. coming up. What's it look like, Chrissy? West is in the lead. They are. He huh? should really catch up, though, in that tug yeah. of war event. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be the main event. Right down to the, the finish? Yeah, well, I really a good think show. All right. Let's get this get started. Them. All right, let's bring in our guys. Screaming Scott, Kenny Loggins, come on in. All right, gentlemen, good luck. Now, listen, a couple of rules here. You know, you must transfer the baton in a certain area. Wait a minute. Now, no, no. Listen, no infractions. No close encounters of the worst kind. All right, now, listen. You transfer the baton the right way. You can drop it. You can pick it up again. If you drop the baton, you may pick it up again. Remember, you might be going for a world record. It's held by USC when O.J. Simpson ran 38.6. But there's no win today. You might win. Okay, you all set? Okay, can you get in your blocks? You come back. Yes, King and Scott. We're ready to run this race. Each runner will run 110 yards. Screaming Scott Simon of Shanana running first for the East. And Kenny Loggins leading off for the West. The runners are set. They're in the blocks and they're up. And they're off. There they go. Off to a good start, Christy. Screaming Scott looks good coming in there. Look at that. He's closing in. 
Loggins is pouring it on. Let's see the transfer. Good transfer. All right. Gladys looks like she's away. Toy's catching up. Toy's catching up. Toy is closing it. All right, here's the transfer. Good transfer there. There's another. Okay. Dowling King. Long legs. Yeah. All right. Okay. Looks like the West is moving out in front there. They got a good transfer now. They'll be in the lead. Oh, they got it. Okay. Flock is way out in front. Santi Santini's closing. Santini's Look at that Santini go. Whoa! Santini wins it. Oh, Santini wins it. For the East. The East wins with Wolflock second for the West. Oh, Santini did a great job. My darling. does win this event. Okay, now we're ready for the next event. I see we have a picture, so we're all set. So take it away, Alex. Thank you, Ed. The race has started. The runners have taken off for this walking race, which is a heel-to-toe competition. The distance is a little less than a, than a mile, and the last of the 40 competitors leave the starting point. Let's, wait a minute, tell us, Tell us, will you quit interfering? Faster! Let's take an overhead look now. We can see the field of walkers stretching out, making their way through the campus of the University of California at Irvine. We can see that Denny Green of Shanana for the East has taken an early lead. Baba Knight is close behind, and watch out for Leif Garrett because he's very good at the heel and toe. Now let's switch over to Fred Travelina, our walking, rambling reporter, and find out just what's going on down there. Fred? I, 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 this race is exciting, ladies and gentlemen. I have never seen such courage. Jesus, and Jesus, Jesus. How's it going? Take hands with All right, Fred, hey. go ahead. I like the haircut. Very Egyptian. How's it going? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Hey, Murray, nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? Sorry, I gotta go this way. And as we say goodbye to the courageous but crazy Fred Travelina, Bubba Knight of Gladys Knight in the pips and Demi Green of Sean and I are in the lead. They're running one and two. We'll be back to this walkathon in just a minute, but right now, let's switch back to Ed McMahon on the field with some very good looking people. Well, while we're waiting for our competitors to come back into the stadium, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders have things under control. Of course, a lot more surprises and action to come. And that scoreboard reads, the West, 177, the East, 145. Here's Joe Smith. I don't think many people know how tough it is for an act on the road in rock and roll. Michael, with hotels and jets and these gigs, how do, how do you guys stay in any kind of shape? We play basketball and, and football and stuff. My brothers especially. I don't play that many sports, but in this event, I'm having a lot of fun. You having, you having a good time? Yes. Are you the best? Is that what you do no, in the family? No. Who's the athlete? Jackie. Jackie. Jackie is the tops. Yeah. He's not in shape. He's not in any kind of shape? No. About you? I'm all right, but uh, he hasn't been eating enough eggs, so he's not in shape at all. You guys must eat all the eggs in Encino, California. No, I don't like eggs. Hard not to like them, you know what I mean? What about sports and spectator <laughs> sports? Do you watch much? Uh, on TV and stuff? Uh, my brothers do, not me. You don't watch TV. They watch all okay. What's your favorite sport? I like basketball and tennis. Any big stars that you particularly admire? I like the Lakers. 
and Dr. J. Dr. J. We're halfway into the marathon, and Bubba Knight is still leading. Denny Green of Sean and I are second. And let's go back now to Ed McMahon. Rod Stewart and Rich Tandy are warming up for their head-to-head -head soccer duel. Right now, let's go to Joe Smith, who's with Bowser of Sean and I. If by sheer numbers, Sean and I is overwhelming our rock and roll sports classic. How many members of your group are there? We got 10 guys, and one is greasier than the next, Joe. There's no question about it. I also want you to know, though, that we are, uh, I'm, I'm having a very good time here, but I am starting my own counter Olympics to put in some events that I myself can win. Tell me what they well, one thing I'm working on here is muscle flexing. Muscle flexing, this is one of my specialties. You see, you flex in, out, around, back, through, any kind of flexing, that is one that I know I am going to take. Uh, endurance mouth opening. Do you know that one? This one is exciting. Closing our mouth, going into the final stretch here, it's Ron Lepret out in front with Bubba Knight closely following. Ron Lepret of the Commodores is kind of an interesting kind of person. He's a graduate of Tuskegee Institute, and they formed their first band while in school, and they call it the Jays. Ron is the bass and trumpet player and does a wonderful job for the Commodores. Bubba Knight is the viola brother of Gladys Knight and the Pips, and uh, they, I guess, come from Atlanta, Georgia, where Bubba taught Gladys how to be a tomboy at a very young age. You know, this walkathon uh, goes back uh, quite a few years. In fact, back to 106 A.D., and that's right. None other but the Greeks invented this game, folks, and I should know that by now. A lot of people like to call it the heel and toe, and a lot of people call it the toe and heel, depending on which way you like to run it. Of course, if you're the toe and heel kind of person, you're running backwards and probably will never win anything. All right, looks like Ron LaPrade and Bubba Knight, Ron LaPrade and Bubba Knight, and here comes Bubba Knight at the outside, and he wins it. Oh, my goodness, what do you think of that, Ed? It's a race. Let's look at it that again in uh, slow motion. Now, there's Ronald LaFred, clearly in front, but here comes Bubba Knight, and he wins it by an expanded chest. Very good. Okay, gentlemen. Rich, we're all set. And Rod, where are you? Get over here. Now, come on. This is the kick point right here, and you know how it works? How many kicks you get? I don't know. Ten, only. Ten. ten. Best out of ten, okay. And you are going to, you've elected to defend. Going on defense. On defense, okay. You're all set. If there's a tie, we'll do a sudden death overtime, okay? No tie. Get the, kick the ball. Now, one point, gentlemen, before you begin, remember, the goalie cannot move until contact is made with the ball. All right, we're ready to begin. Rod Stewart. Like Rod is ready. There's the first one. And it's in for one point. One for one for Stewart. Second kick. Little high. Outside. Rod Stewart has a little experience in this because this is kind of the indigenous game of his area. He's been doing this most of his life. There's the third kick. And it's also in. A little fancy footwork there. Remember, the winning team will present a trophy to the school and a check for $20,000 to the UCI Athletic Fund. Here's Stewart's fourth kick. And that's it. So it's three for four for Stewart. Oh, almost blocked and got in. Stewart really looks good with that soccer ball. Four for five. Blocked it up. Good block. Four for six for Stewart. These trophies, by the way, are beautiful. Designed by Cartier. And that's in. Oh, <laughs> gallant truck. Slow motion on that. See you after. August 25th. Well, Jeff's gone back to England to take a rest. Now he's going to. Yeah, I have an autograph. 
Uh -huh. What part of England are you from? I'm from Birmingham. Oh, England. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you like the United States? Great. Great, great place, right? Yeah. Very you great. like their music? Oh, yeah. yeah. Soccer field, Rod Stewart's made five out of seven, that's six out of eight. Two kicks left. Another. It's even fire on that one, I guess. There's quite a wind out here today. Here's the last kick. And it's in. So Stewart finishes with 8 for 10. Let's go right now to Joe Smith and the tent for an update on that marathon. Lenny Baker, Shanana, how did the marathon go? Well, Freddie and I were coming down the stretch last, and Freddie said, well, we'll sprint for it together. It's Freddie Fender. Freddie Fender. And then he snuck out in front of me. So I ended up being last all by myself, but I guess last is best. <laughs> We both came through alive. Yes, we, we had more like a, a stroll rather than a marathon. Thanks a lot. We love you, Lenny. Yes, we do. We love you, Lenny. No one is true. Look at my neighbor. We're blue. Oh, Lenny, we love you. Do you want a beer? Okay, we're ready for Rich Tandy of the Electric Lighter Orchestra now. He's got a tough assignment. Rod Stewart made eight out of ten. That's hot. He's going to make them all now at a tie. Can't win it, but he's gonna still fight. He's in. the carnival. Is that you and Mr. John? Uh, yeah, uh, Elton was there. Town? Elton and Peter Frampton and all the other boring people in rock and roll. I no, I shouldn't have said that. Why do I open my big mouth? No, they're good pals of mine. He's, NBC, of He's gonna get really beat, this kid. He can't play football, can he? I don't know. All he has to do is... All right, it's Rich Tandy of ELO. One for four. That wind is picking up some of those balls. That's him. Yeah. 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 He's in. Three for seven. Toward the end of his match, four for eight. Good save, Buster. Last kick, and it's good. Well, Rod Stewart wins this one for the West. And he's happy about it. <laughs> the score. He's 162 West, 206. You play a lot of uh, soccer over there, Nick? I've never played before in my life. I don't believe a word of it. I don't believe a word of it. There's you your trophy. Congratulations. And a kick there. All right. And a one for Barbie Benton. Wildly now, while I turn a page, act one is over.
without costume change The principal would like to leave the stage The crowd don't understand Bikes. These are not the kind of bikes I used to steal as a child. As you can see, these bikes have very thin tires. Not the thick ones that we used to know, the ones that used to go boom, 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 boom. These go whirl, whirl, whirl. And I think right now I'd like to show you some of these bikes up tight and close. These bikes here, someone stole the bikes. They've stolen the bikes, folks. But we'll be back with more of the bikes later on in the show, hopefully, if we can get them back. Dash Crofts, Jimmy Seals. Dash, you are participating. Jimmy, you're not, correct? I'm the coach. I told him everything he knows. My coach, You're the yes. only guy to bring along a coach? I'm the only guy to bring along a coach. And, uh, you know, he's getting along in years, and they <clears throat> just didn't really want him to run. His doctor told him that he couldn't run today. <laughs> if we ever have an event in fiddle playing, how about that one? <laughs> I, that, that one, I'm for sure. Pie eating contest, either one. All-time champ. Seals and Crofts, great recording artists and one great athlete. Back to the track. This is the shuttle hurdle relay. Eight runners in a team. They go up and back covering five hurdles in each lap. They're ready. Bobby Lisi for the East and Leaf Garrett for the West. Leading Rod Stewart, Randy Jackson. Anchors for the East and West. This transfer Rod Stewart off to a good start. For the West, Randy Jackson. Anchor for the East coming up fast. Rod Stewart and Randy Jackson. And Rod Stewart has it. West 216, East 167. Still watch for A long jump coming up, and Donnie of Shannon with us. How do you figure to win it? Oh, I figure I would do very well in this long jump. You know, uh, every night or so when my group goes on stage every night, we do the long jump from the 70s back to the 50s to do the original rock and roll. The long jump is my specialty. We're going to win it. You know, it really doesn't matter. Like, when I, when I first heard about the whole thing, I didn't want to do it. You know, I just said, oh, what kind of... But then after I came out here and met all the people, you know, they're such great people and we're having such a good time, I don't even care. You know, it's, it's really nice. They tell me that uh, winning is not the thing. And I said, if I don't win the race, I will win the fight. Right, <laughs> right. But it, it, is, it has been, it has been great. We were just saying that the fact that the fact that the, all the entertainers get together over the year and they're in competition always with each other, and now is the time to find out. Say, well, oh, Larry Dunn is not quite as bad as I thought he was. You know. <laughs> with a little friendly jousting on the side. Now we get ready for the third and final jump in our team long jump here with our first one up, Rich Tandy from ELO. Go, Rich! There he goes. And it looks like a good jump there for Rich. He's getting the measurement now. Shaking his head like he's not quite sure what he did. At 14 feet and, and one half inch, a good run. And now we have Lionel Richie from the Commodores and he's taken off like lightning into the sky and a crash landing for Lionel. Lionel, I'm afraid your jump is a foul. I'm afraid your little toe stepped over the line too early and that one won't count. Now, Larry Dunn from Earth, Wind, and Fire is going to try to gain some points here for the West as he tries to jump through the air and gain a lot of footage on the ground. A little bounce there at the end. An extra touch for Larry Dunn. And he has managed to jump 12 feet 9 inches for his third jump. Now, from Sha Na Na and a little grease lightning, we have Donnie York. Go, Donnie. Look at that man jumping with his shades on. He's cool. Let's see, how did Donnie do here? Donnie, not a bad showing for himself. 13 feet and 3 inches. Okay, now we have getting ready Kenny Loggins, seeing if he can win some points here for his team. Kenny's been doing pretty fine. Go, Kenny! And he's off. Remember, Kenny already won the men's 50-yard freestyle swim. And it looks like a good jump for Mr. Loggins once again. Let's see here. They're measuring it now. And Kenny has managed to jump 15 feet, 4 inches. Good showing, Kenny. Now we have our Canadian songbird, Ann Murray. And Ann is going to leap through the air and do wonderful things. I just know that. Sure enough. <laughs> Ann's a terrific competitor, and she has managed to get, let's see, the judges are measuring, 10 feet, 8 inches. 
changes for Anne. Now, and now we're ready for Lita Ford from the Runaways, and she is off and flying through the air. A little difficult there on her landing. Let's see how Lita did. The judges are measuring now, and Lita has managed to jump nine feet, three inches. And now we're ready for our dancing machine from the Jackson, Marlon Jackson. And he is off and in the air, and ho, oh, oh, ho, it looks like he's gonna give Kenny Loggins a run for the money there. Marlon, have you always been such a great jumper? Not really, I just... I guess it pays off playing? working on stage. Enjoy yourself. Better enjoy yourself. You got to enjoy yourself. Say it again. Enjoy yourself. to start the bicycle race. The boys will be going once around the track. Right here in lane one is Lenny Baker from Sha Na Na. How's it going, Lenny? Hey, it's going great. If everybody else falls down, I'll probably still lose. <laughs> in lane two is Mylon Williams from the Commodores. How do you feel? I feel great. As I'm speaking to my CB microphone, the East doesn't stand a chance. In lane three is John Bowser from Shanana combing your helmet. Yeah, it ain't easy. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just warming up. I'd like to thank my mother for teaching me how to ride a bicycle. In lane four is Al McKay from Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, you know we're ahead. I feel like with all this help I've got here, we ought to win today. How about a kiss for good luck? Okay. <laughs> all right. Good luck. In lane five is Johnny Cantaro from Shanana. I want to say hello to my grandmother. Thanks for the chicken soup. I need it. And lane six is Thomas McClary from the Commodore. Oh, wow. How do you feel about the combination? Competition? Are you kidding? There's no competition at all, man. Yeah. You got to win? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Here we have Sandy Duncan, the coach from the West. How do you feel you're going to do in this competition? Oh, I think with Al, Milan, and Tom, we're going to win. If we have to use this bike to pull them, we're going to win. Right, Gladys? Right. Gladys Knight, what are you doing here? I brought the best bicycle. What do you mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and over here we have the coach of the East. How do you feel you're going to fare in this? Well, this is going to be our win because we're coming up from the rear and we're really going to do it this time because it's really our thing. This is our game because these are bicycles and we're all into chains. Again. Hey, listen, we're going to lose this again. All I got to say is, look, I know the yellow's ahead, but it's early. You know what I mean? The blue is going to take everything. Just give us a little time, we'll get it together. That's all I have to say. Fantastic. Go get him. Hey, 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 Ronald. Good man. So, <laughs> what'd you win that for? Uh, well, well, the parade Commodores. Well, what'd you win it for? My man, Mylon Williams, won. You didn't even he win? He came across, oh, Mylon of the Commodores. You understand? Just... I'll, I'll let him save his energy for winning the race while I well, carry, carry all the trophies. Everything. You understand? What have you been doing to keep in such good shape? Well... I uh, started an exercise program before before the event, but it's basically oatmeal I ate. Hey, well, congratulations. That was terrific. Thank you. I know you were a little nervous at the beginning of all the competition.
competition, but you want a big one here. Um, now we're going to throw it back to Joe Smith in the tent. Come on, that's my towels. Hey, hey, guys, 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 wait a second. Hold, hold, hold. Hey, you got a real tug of war coming up. Why don't you guys save your energy for that? Now, just give me the towel. Now, who wants the towel? Give me the towel. Come on, just give me the towel, will you? Stuff, you see? <laughs> like I am. <laughs> when you have too many chiefs, that's what happens. They're still trying to get it straightened out. Let's go to Alex Karras at the swimming pool. Back to swimming, and this one is the mixed uh, team relay swim, and I'm, I know that you're excited about this one. It's actually 100 yards, and each contestant will go back one time, which is 25, 25 yards. yards. I think that's from the University of Iowa. I learned that when I was in school, Michelle Phillips. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting race, and uh, the East uh, hopefully will... Who's in this one, and who do you think is going to win it? Well, let's go to the lineup and see who we got here. All right, in lane two for the East, we have Barry Goodrow from Boston. For the West, William King from the Commodores. In lane four, Billy Alessi from the Alessi Brothers. In lane five, for the West, Ralph Johnson from Earth, Wind, and Fire. It's so essential to get a good diving start on this one. Let's see how they really fare up against each other. Barry Goudreau, William King, Billy Alessi, and Ralph Johnson. You know, there's four swimmers on each team, and they're swimming one lap apiece. And they're off. It's a good start. William King is out in front, followed by Billy Alessi, Ralph Johnson, and Barry Goudreau. They're swimming very easy and very fast, I may add. Looks like Billy Alessi will touch first. Michael Jackson will hit the water. There he goes. Michael Jackson is what you'd call a natural swimmer. So he's starting to fade a little bit. Here comes Leif Kerr. He's going to get the lead to his other partner, Al McKay. Al McKay hits the water. Okay, look out for Ken. Here comes Kenny Loggins on the top of your screen. Kenny Loggins will make up some, some time. He does. He gives the lead to Tanya Tucker. Tanya Tucker now. Tanya's swimming very easily. It looks like she'll go all the way. Followed by Marlon Jackson and Joan Jett. Tucker's team of Ralph Johnson, Ron LaPred, Kenny Loggins, of course, will win it. So it's Jackson second, Joan Jett third, and speaking of winning, she's a winner in many ways. the grease that this man we're gonna slide on through yeah. the east is gonna slide straight through that's right yeah. right right right, right. For 
Freddy Flick Fender, does he have a weapon to counteract this? Axel Grease. Yeah, the thing is, we're going to slide through the grease. Well, he's got a, you know, Freddy, Freddy, your marvelous, marvelous physical condition should be able to overcome anything these guys could throw at you. I tell you what, brother, it took a lot to get up this morning. That's all I can say. <laughs> I think you're in serious trouble. All right, the half-mile men's relay, men's and women's relay. And right behind me, warming up is Rod Stewart. Hello, Rod. You got your work cut out for you. This Denny Green of Sean Anna looks good. When was the last time you ever did this? I do every week. Every week, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about you? You look like a runner. Yeah, but I haven't done it in a while. I've been on tour for the last two months. Yeah, but yeah. you're all set to go? I'm... All right, you're the start-off man. It all can be determined in the beginning. Oh, it's Jackson picks it up from the Jacksons for the East. Closing it up a little bit. As they come to the transfer, Tanya Tucker picks up for the West. And Mark Marilyn the crew for the East. Marilyn seems to be closing the gap a little bit. She's really trying hard. Look at that. Yes, she is gaining some ground. All right, there's the handoff to Ed Patton. And to Billy Davis. Look at that Billy Davis go. And Patton pours it on. Oh, they're both charged. Maybe to Sandy West with the runaways for the West. And Janet Jackson with Jackson. There it is. There's the handoff. There it goes. And little Janet is pouring her heart out. Look at that. Leif Garrett for the West, and Chico of Sha Na Na. They pick it up at the turn. The West still way out in front. All right, Bubba Knight standing by. Bubba Knight's got it. And moving out fast. Marlon Jackson now pouring on some coal. Bubba Knight and Marlon Jackson coming around that corner. Bubba Knight, hands off to Larry Dunn. Oh, and Bubba Knight stumbles and falls. Oh, and a bad transfer for the East, and is, uh, they've given up, and it looks like the Larry Dunn is bringing it in for the West. Here comes Larry, all alone, bringing it in, and the West wins another 10 points. Okay, here you go. Your, your man fell on the transfer and the handoff. And the blue team just uh, went down. Boy, you're beautiful. How do you feel? A little tired. A little tired. When was the last time you did this? Oh, it must have been 12th grade. 12th yeah. grade. <laughs> well, you were smoking to the end, Pat. You Thank came you. in strong. Wes! Here's the yeah. best. Back. Back. Oh. Best. Okay. Wes! team and it looks as though the east is having a pretty good go of it joan jett of the west team and gladys knight there's marlon jackson from the east team and the east is slowly but surely pulling that west team across the pit the object get the flag to the far end they're struggling and judging and giving up ground but there's the horn and the east 
has won it, and Phil is still jumping up and down for joy, but it may be under that two-minute limit, and if so, the judges are going to give the West a reprieve. It is under the two-minute limit, and so it's going to be the best two of three, so there'll be another tug. The West is still alive. The East won this, needs to win one more. The West has got to win two, and now the two teams will change sides of the field. an old stickball player from the streets of Brooklyn. And representing the East as well, Helen Schneider, right up and coming song stylist. In fact, she brought down the house with this performance recently on The Tonight Show. Tugging, not bouncing, as he and his famed musical brothers, the Jacksons, ordinarily can be found doing. The Eastern team, and are they ready as we get set for the second tug? Part of the big performance on the Eastern team, you think you're seeing double DR, the Alessi brothers, Bobby and Billy, they're identical twins. In fact, they were born just seconds apart. <laughs> Set to go now for the second tug. Remember, the East has got a leg up in this best two of three, and there's Lenny Baker of Sha Na Na, the anchor man, and who could ask for a better one indeed. Remember now, because that first tug of war was under two minutes, the judges ruled that it would be a best two of three competition. The field has been wet. We've had some rain here, and the two teams have now switched sides. That's the West in yellow, and they have to win this. Remember, the two teams came into this competition with the West leading 265 to 207, 125 points to the winning team. And, of course, the team that wins it, therefore, wins this rock and roll sports classic competition. West in yellow, East in blue. If you're wondering, the West has got 22 people. Total weight, 3,309 pounds. The East has got 21 people, 3,310. That's the West in yellow, and they've off, they're off to a quick start. East is giving up ground, trying to dig in and hold on, but the West bent on getting this competition even. And the West is so far the best of it. They're into the pit, pulling that Eastern team, and it looks as though, yes, the East has given up, and the West has won tug number two, and we're all set for the final tug-off to determine who wins the Rock and Roll Sports Classic competition. Wade Garrett, he's just 16, and a hot teenage rock and roll idol he is, and his big tune, Wanderer. And this charming and talented lady of song, Gladys Knight. 25 years, Gladys Knight and the Pips have been one of the top musical groups in the nation. Edward Patton, William Guest, and of course, Bubba Knight, the Pips with Gladys Knight. Five gold albums, one platinum, 11 gold singles. And Rod Stewart. He's had two races, the soccer kick. Now the tug of war and those hot legs are still digging in. I love your honor. So the third and final tug is coming up to decide it all. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the action on Rock and Roll Sports Classic. End of the day to determine who's going to win the Rock and Roll Sports Classic. In yellow, east in blue. That's the West team. They've been leading all day. They're on the right of your screen and have been leading all day. The West team, Hugh McDowell. 
Marlon Jackson. And they've got the best of it so far, but that press team is grudgingly giving up ground. They're into the pit. Gladys Knight. Oh, how she's struggling to keep her team alive in this competition. The West team has been in front all day. This final bit of competition coming down to this last event. 20 events at all. In fact, this is event number three in the tug of war. And the East is slowly but surely gaining on the West. Lita Ford, Vicki Blue. And the East has got the West. Garrett in front, and there's the buzzer, and the East has won it. The East has won it. The East wins it. The point total for the East, 332 points. For the West, 265 points. But in reality, everybody's a winner. For these over 50 top rock and roll stars have come together today in 20 bits of competition, friendly competition, not for personal glory or for personal gain, but just to take part in a friendly spirit of competition. Everybody wins. Nobody's a loser. And now for the special presentation, let's go back down to the field. Your host, Alex Karras, and co-host, Ed McMahon. All right, our teams have been competing in the Rock and Roll Sports Classic for the real honor of having their name permanently engraved on this beautiful trophy. That's going to be awarded to our vice chancellor along with a check for $20,000. Alex, you've got the trophy and you've yes, got I the do. check. Yes, I do. Mr. Atwood, if you'd hold this, please, on behalf of the for, uh, of beha behalf of NBC and the production crew and all the people that made this possible, and really mainly on behalf of all these great entertainers that took the time out, here's $20,000 to the University of California, Irvine. And I think at this time that it's... It's kind of apropos at this time to say goodbye in a, in a way that we usually start off sports shows, and that's with the United States of America's national anthem. Dunn is missing from his cookie jar, and the result isn't sweet when it turns up at the scene of a murder. Then on Quincy, a deadly virus is aboard a hijacked plane, and Quincy fights to save the lives of the passengers and their terrorist captors. The Rockford Files, Quincy, Friday starting at 9, 8 Central and Mountain on NBC. Be sure to watch The Tonight Show following local news. <laughs>